All right, so I just adjusted Joe. Um, first thing I looked at was his leg lengths and his legs were out of balance. He had one leg that was shorter than the other. Your left leg is shorter than your right leg, but more than likely it's not structural, it's postural, right? So you've got some kind of interference, some kind of subluxation here in the spine that's interfering with your nervous system and causing this leg to pull up shorter. So what I need to do is figure out exactly where those subluxations are and try and get these legs balanced. Uh, we went straight to the neck. Uh, it turned out to be the atlas or the first cervical that was misaligned. Okay, so I'm gonna adjust the atlas. That's the first cervical. And I want you to just turn your head slightly to the left. Perfect. Okay, and I want you to go face down because we're gonna recheck now. We adjusted that, and as soon as I did that, his legs balanced out. We did some more tests just to make sure that nothing else was left in the neck. Everything was cleared with just that one adjustment in the neck. And then we went down to the pelvis, the sacrum, and the low back. Okay, so what's happening is, is your sacrum has gone forward mm -hmm. and down, and so I'm just gonna pop it back into place here. All right, good. It turned out to be the sacrum, set the sacrum. Uh, the legs were almost balanced in flexion at that point, but needed a little bit more. Um, so I ended up adjusting his fifth lumbar um, and his mid back. Let's take a deep breath in and breathe out. Good. Deep breath in and breathe out. Okay. So this area is really stiff in here as well. Um, you know, apart from the pain that it can cause, this area can affect your digestive system. Any issues like acid reflux, gassiness, burping? I have an unusual farting. Uh, unusual what? I think I fart more than the average person. <laughs> okay. Really right. My girlfriend told me that. Okay. I balanced him out completely. Um, all of the adjustments were quite smooth, but the mid back was quite locked up. Um, a lot of times with the jujitsu guys, uh, someone's constantly pulling their head down, so that can cause a lot of tension in the mid back there. And oftentimes you'll see digestive issues because the nerves in that area control the stomach, the pancreas, um, the gallbladder. And more often than not, it causes things like um, acid reflux, heartburn, uh, gassiness, slow digestion, bloating after meals, these types of things. Okay, so just relax your head back a bit. This way? Yep. So you're actually doing really good because a lot of the uh, jujitsu guys have a hard time like allowing someone to control their body, you yeah. know? Yeah. But you're doing really good. Probably the psychological reasoning. Yeah. Just turn a little bit towards me. You're not gonna fall. Yeah, that's perfect. Nice and easy. Perfect. Okay, turn face up. If it feels like it's gonna be unbearable, then uh, then I'll stop. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of pressure and I just want you to think how your shoulders are feeling. So far good. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so we got a little more movement there. So all in all, um, everything went really well. That part in the mid back is quite stiff. stiff. Yeah. Um, I also want to take a look at your shoulders as well. So move up on the table just a little bit. Okay. So a lot of times when you have issues with your shoulders, it's really coming from the clavicle because the clavicle is basically what connects the shoulder to the, to the, to the skeletal frame. All right. So we're going to adjust this right here. So I'm adjusting what the joint between the shoulder blade and the clavicle here. Okay. All right. Yeah, moved a little bit before I even did it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. All right, nice and perfect. Okay. Um, lay face down again. I want to recheck everything. Okay, perfect. Okay, go ahead and stand up. Okay, so everything's balanced right now, which is telling me that all the subluxations have been removed. Your um, nervous system is functioning free of interference right now. Yeah. The healing doesn't happen in the moment, but it happens in the minutes, hours, days, and weeks after the adjustment. Um, after every adjustment, it's always good to go for a 10 minute walk because we've just mobilized all your vertebra and that's just to keep them moving. Uh -huh. um, basically, we don't want you to just go sit in a car or go sit down. Um, drinking water is important. You strike me as a guy that drinks water. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Tons of it. Yeah, so for your size, you should be drinking at least a liter and a half a day, maybe two, and in the summer, probably more. Yeah. Um, when you're standing, always be conscious of how you're standing. My wife has a really bad habit and she stands like this all the time, <laughs> right? Um, and when you're sitting, try not to uh, cross your legs or your ankles or anything like that's, that. You know yeah. what? 
That's something that the habit I've had for a long time. Yeah, my legs yeah, and just... this, and especially on the sofa. The sofa is where people really tend to have some bad postures. I work from the sofa. Yeah, when, I, when I'm on my laptop, that's yeah, what I do on my work. yeah. So that's that's the worst, especially if you're doing something like this where you're, Me, where huh? yeah, where you're sitting and you've got like an ottoman or something on your laptop. Yes. Like there's nothing worse than this posture. I do right that here. half the time. And the other half the time, I'm leaning back, but it's yeah. a little bit like a yeah. So that lean, sitting and leaning forward is the is the position that puts the most pressure on your discs and your low back. So should I? I'm thinking. Of, I've been thinking about just buying one of those ergonomic, really nice chairs. If you have a yeah. recommendation for a chair, yeah, I do. See it. I do. I don't I care do. what it costs now. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. Whatever is going to fix it. Yeah. This. I'll show it to you right now. So you were you were asking me about like what what a good chair is, right? Yeah. So there is a chair that I, I quite like, and um, you know it's it's called the Hag. It's uh, Scandinavian. I think it's, it might be Danish, but anyway, the reason why I like it is it's it's quite different than any other chair I've seen on the market. Um, you know, you can see here by the shape, it's quite different. And what I like about it is, is that the armrests are quite different than any other chair you're gonna see. So first off, what it does is it obliges you to put your elbows back. So when you're just sitting and you're chilling out, instead of being in a posture like this, it obliges you to open up your chest and stretch out your chest in the front of your shoulders and that'll help with the head forward posture. And then you can sit on it backwards and it supports you as well. But yeah, I, I, I highly recommend this chair. Okay. They've got two models. Uh, one is, is more like plasticky. I think that one's around 600 euros. And then this one, the, more, the, what, the upholstered one, I think is you know, around, well, this one's 13, 1,300, 13, 1,500, 1,500, depending on, on you know, where you get it from. But yeah. to me, it's the most innovative chair I've seen out of all of them. The rest of them are pretty much all the same. Okay. But this one allows you to sit two different ways, uh, you know, backwards or forwards. Um, so it looks quite interesting to me. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah no cool. problem. And then I would definitely recommend the desks that, that elevate. So after adjusting Joe, his, his body actually responded really well to the adjustment, but what I would recommend for him is that we start off with two visits a week, and we do that for about four to five weeks, and then more than likely after that, we would start reducing the frequency little by little until we got to about one visit a month. And one visit a month is what I would recommend for Joe to keep him in wellness and prevent problems from reoccurring in the future.